everyone, welcome back to haul week day three and it's Good Friday so hope you're having a good Friday. <laughs> well, I'm here all week guys, don't worry. Today is an ASOS haul, I hope you are excited. It's a very colourful haul, there's tie dye, there's neon, it's very bright spring colours today. <laughs> if I'm honest, haven't been loving the ASOS stuff recently, I feel like I order quite a lot from there, I'm not loving how it fits, the quality, all of that kind of stuff. I hadn't done an order from there in a while and then when I put on my Insta stories asking you guys what you wanted to see from haul week, I think ASOS was one of the most requested videos to do. So I've done a haul, we'll go through it. You know how these videos work. For anyone that's new here, hello, my name is Jess, welcome. If you've missed day one and day two I will pop them below. Everything will be linked in the description box, every item of clothing, everything I'm wearing, makeup. Oh I'm not wearing my rings today. Oh no. Oh I feel naked. Oh well. Also I apologise for what I look like today. I am so tired. Look how big my cup of coffee is this morning. It's pretty much the same size as my head. <laughs> but yeah I hope everyone's been having a really nice week. How's your week been? Let me know. Anyone got any fun plans this weekend? Let me know what you guys are doing this weekend. I love knowing what you guys are doing. My comments on my um, YouTube are literally my favourite things to read, so I read every single comment, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yes, what am I wearing today? I hear you ask. No one asked. Topshop t-shirt, Levi shorts, and my Gucci belt, which is, a, like, it's annoying because I can't quite get it. It's like, you know? Anyway. Also, if you're new here, I'm five foot six, size eight to ten. Yeah, let's go. We'll start off with a blazer, because I love a blazer, in this kind of rusty orange, burnt orange, dusty pink kind of mixture of colours. It's from Warehouse, but on ASOS. It's in a size 10 and it is £56, so it's cheaper than the Zara one yesterday, if you saw that one, which <laughs> was not good. It's just way too big, I look like a square. Hopefully this one is a bit better. I mean, I've got high hopes for this because it came in its own box. My ASOS order came in a huge box and then this one came separately in its own box. I was like, oh a funky separate box for a warehouse blazer, okay. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, I love it. This is something that I would wear every day. Grey t-shirt, denim shorts, blazer. Love this outfit, love the length of this blazer as well. I think it's super cute. Love the buttons, love everything. What do you think? Do you like the colour? Do you like the fit? Probably wear it with a pair of white trainers or my trusty espadrilles from my other haul. You could dress this up with like a little black dress or you can wear this with like jeans. You can roll the sleeves. Let me just show you. You lose the like the detail of the buttons but you also get that cool turned up white stripe vibe. Love the tortoiseshell buttons. Yes, so this is a size 10. I wouldn't go down to a size 8 because I like it to be slightly oversized and actually I think this fits me perfectly. That was item one. Also, make sure you let me know what your favourite pieces are below. That's my favourite bit, like hearing what you guys think about the pieces, which pieces you think I should keep and which pieces you think I should send back. So let me know below. Okay, up next. <laughs> up next, I have a grey t-shirt to match the one I'm wearing. Good from me as always, buying things I already own. It says Oopsie Daisy on it. I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen Notting Hill. It's my favourite film in the entire world. I, I've probably seen it 50 times? No. I've seen it a lot. There's a scene in it where he says Oopsie Daisy and it's, it's just funny. It's just a funny scene. So yeah, um, when I saw this I was like, I have to get it. It's a grey t-shirt but obviously I wear grey t-shirts a lot. This is a size 10 and we'll try it on. It's just so cute, you're daisy for spring. A daisy, so nice. Also, I'm getting a lot of hate <laughs> in the comment section for how I take clothes off hangers. They're like, don't pull it through the neck. How else do you get it off the hanger unless you like, well I guess you could do that. Well, that's kind of easy. Okay, we'll do that from now on. Thanks guys. Does it have the price on it? No, obviously, because it's ASOS. Cute, right? I love this. I mean, it. I could have probably got a size 8 in it, because it is a baggy oversized top, but who am I kidding? I love this fit. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, yeah, so love this. Not much to say about it. It's nice length as well. What do you guys think? Next up, another t-shirt. I love this one. It's got two lions on it, rather than three lions. Why did I buy this? Purely because I am a Leo star sign and it's got lions on it and I was like, oh, I, I want it. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be slightly see-through. It, yeah, it looks like a thin material, slightly see-through. So we'll try it on and see what this one looks like. Oh, I did the hanger wrong. Sorry. Sorry. So, really cute, nice baggy fit, classic. But the lions are higher up than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be like here. So they're quite high, which means when I wear my necklaces, oh my god, they're drilling again. Please, it's haul week. It's Good Friday. 
welcome i don't know where my necklace is it covers it but it's not the end of the world what do you guys think do you like this one it's quite see-through but not too bad and i just love that i like the thin material so yes those are my t-shirts. Got a cute little strappy top to show you. This is in a colour that I would never normally buy. I'm not a purple girl. I'm not a lilac fan. But I thought this was really cute and I love square, like, straight lines. <laughs> I love straight lines. I love straight, what's that called? Cut, maybe? Yeah, whatever. They did have this in other colours, but for some reason I was like, I'm going to try it in purple. I'm trying new things this year, we'll try a purple top. And I loved the purple sweatshirt, and you guys seem to love the purple sweatshirt from day one haul. So yes, let's try this on. This is in a 10. Got cute spaghetti straps, looks very 90s, so we'll see. So I, the, I've changed my mind, I don't like the straight cut because it kind of digs in straight under your armpits, which is one of the most unsexy words in the world, armpit. I hate that word. I don't think I'm going to keep this. I mean, it has the potential to be so cute, but I just think it doesn't really fit me very well. I mean, I'm quite narrow here, so these are just slightly too far over, if that makes sense. Um, I actually really like the colour, though, which has shocked me. What do you think? What do you guys think about the colour? Do you like this colour on me or not really? But yeah, these are already, like, annoying me. So probably a no from me for this. And yeah, I just don't think it does... No. Oh, I'm so excited to try this on because either I'm going to look like a complete frill mess or it's going to be so cute. So this is from a brand called Lost Ink. I've got this in a size 10. Don't know why I should have got a size 8, but it looked so beautiful on the model. So <laughs> let's see what it looks like on the non-model. Again, it's got that square line of the thing. Why can't I speak today? And it's like nice and ruched and everything. And this, these shoulders just looked so interesting. I love clothes. Oh my God. I think I look like a frilly cupcake. I love the detail here. Can you see? But I think I look like I'm wearing a maternity top. Like also the fact that my belt buckle sticks out here doesn't really help. But I, this, um, I'm really disappointed. I need a size down anyway, because it slips down a bit. I love this detailing here of the sleeves. I think that's so cute, but this just does nothing for me. Maybe if I wasn't wearing a belt, it would be fine. But yeah, this is just, it's just, an, it's just not the most flattering thing ever. What do you guys think? It, ha it had the potential to be so cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? The pattern is really cute. If this had another couple of layers and it was a dress, would be the dream but it just doesn't really work for me i don't know what do you guys think and then we're moving on to some jumpers even though it's so hot today and we're going into summer it's still england here it gets cold it's going to be snowing next week probably so i picked up two jumpers if you're wearing a jumper in spring and summer it means it's going to be miserable weather and all you want when it's miserable weather is to be as brightly colored and happy as possible so, I don't really know what I was doing when I was ordering this ASOS haul. Don't know why I picked up a bright neon pink jumper or a tie-dye pink explosion. It kind of looks like a lollipop has melted onto you. But we're going to try them on. I absolutely love this neon jumper. I don't know why. If you saw my Zara haul yesterday, you would have seen that bright pink dress I tried on. Obsessed with the colours. Let's see what this one looks like. And then this is like a cropped knit jumper, so we'll try that one on after. Also, can't explain how soft this is. It's just so nice, it's just like a, it's lovely. Size 10. Oh, must remember to take the hanger out properly. Is this properly? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm obsessed. I love this jumper. I look like a pink highlighter. I feel like I am glowing. <laughs> it's actually in my peripheral, peripheral vision. That's a word I can't say. So if I'm like literally looking up here, I can, I, the glow of the pink is hitting me in the eye. It'd be dangerous to drive in, but I love this. So I'm glad I got size 10. Sorry. It's big, it's slouchy. I love it so much. Wow, wow. <laughs> let me know what you think about this. Is this too bright? Be honest with me, please let me know because <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to wear it every day from one brightly coloured jumper to this brightly coloured knitwear. I got this in a size 10 and the tie-dye trend at the moment is huge. Everything is tie-dye. It's a big trend for spring and summer. So I thought I would jump on that because I'm a trend loser. It's cropped so I don't know how I'm going to feel about it and how useful it's going to be because realistically going into the summer months you want a jumper that you can take off when you get too hot and you can't really take this off unless you're wearing an even smaller cropped t-shirt underneath. 
We'll see what this one looks like. I don't want to take this off though. I love this. So it's cute, it's very 90s, it's very bright. It's not that nice material, it's quite hard. You know when like a knitwear jumper feels quite like, not crusty, <laughs> that's a horrible word, but you know what I mean? Just like kind of like not slouchy and not comfortable. So I think this is probably a no from me. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Actually, it's like, don't know what I was thinking vibe. This is something that you would look back at, something you wore when you were younger and be like, oh, that was cool in the time of being six years old, but not now. We will leave the jumpers. Oh, actually, I've got one more top to show you hidden in here. This is very cute, little polka dot number. I think this looks a bit big. I should have probably got a size eight in this, but if you watched my Zara haul yesterday, you will know my deep obsession with polka dots. That white and black polka dot dress is still like in my mind as my favorite thing. But yeah, this is cute. It's got nice little frilly shoulders, nice little tie up detail. So I'll try this one. I'm a bit confused, not gonna lie. Don't really know how I feel. Feel a bit froofy. <laughs> I love this detailing on the straps and I like the idea. It's a bit frilly, quite cute. It's like a really cute baby doll cami style vibe. Obviously I've tucked it, but you can untuck it. Then we're gonna move on to this dress. This is obviously not colorful, but nice black oversized slouchy day dress. I had a really nice like rusty one in day one, which I love. So I'm gonna see what this one looks like. I think it will probably be quite unflattering because it's really wide, but we'll see. Okay, so I feel like a tent. I mean, it's so comfy. I love dresses that are like so loose fitting and flowy and cute. Love the tortoiseshell buttons all the way down the front. I just think it's a bit too wide. My natural instinct is to be like, get a belt, get a belt, tie it up around the waist. But then you lose the whole kind of point of this nice flowy dress. It's very like boho vibes, like super chilled, nice floaty. But like, I just want a bit more definition. I think that it's just too wide. Just keep doing this. Got another dress to show ya. So this one is super cute. It's this kind of midi dress. So this is a mango dress. I'm also kind of worried I bought this in mango for my mango haul. So you might be seeing this again. Nice linen material. It's like a baby blue, very like washed out gray baby blue with white pinstripes down it. But then it's got the cutest back. Buttons all the way down. Got this in a small. I do like this. My instant reaction is like, oh, it's a long dress. I don't like it because it's not my normal everyday style. But I do really, really like it. This would be perfect if you're going on like, just, you know, popping to Rome, exploring the streets, nice pair of sandals, nice little cute little basket bag. My favorite bit of this is the back. Excuse my bra. But can you see the back? It's so cute. And then pockets. I am really trying to dress more, like not cute, but less like casual everyday, like shorts, jeans, t-shirt. I'm trying to branch out and wear dresses and stuff a bit more. So what do you think about this one? I mean, it's really nice quality, like super soft linen material. And I love this color as well. And we're gonna jump onto a play suit. So this I have got in a size eight. It's a tie up around the waist. Nice little cute utility style pattern vibe. Not pattern, but style. Buttons down the front. Just thought this was a bit different. I don't own anything like this apart from, well, the Topshop denim jumpsuit, but. This is very different material and a different, this one has long sleeves. I love this color. I'm really vibing blue right now. Mm -hmm. And neon pink. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cute. What do you think? What do you think? This is something I would never pick up. Like if I was in store and I saw this, I'd be like, no, don't like it, don't like it. But now that I've got it on, I actually really like it. I mean, also I can't see what I look like in any of these things. I've got this tiny viewfinder on the top of my camera where I'm like, Oh yeah, that's quite cute. But it feels really comfy. I love like, the loose fittingness of it. It's got pockets. I like the tight detail, which is exactly on my waist. And it's like a stretchy waist as well. Super easy to wear. I've rolled the sleeves up a little bit, but you don't have to. I love this color. Is this nice? Or a bit sack-like or not flattering? Onto yellow. As I've said this week, it is a very in color right now. Yellow everywhere. So this is a cord dress. Cute little straps. I got this in a size. I got this in a size. This is in a size 10. I just thought this was quite cute, either to wear with a t-shirt or without. Nice little jacket, denim. <laughs> sure, please. We're talking about the yellow cord dress now. So yeah, I'm gonna... Wow, it actually got louder. Sorry, you're just gonna have to have that in the background because I'm on a roll. Ow. Do that every time. Okay, love the color so much. I need to go down a size, it's too big and like, it's very stretchy, so it gives you, it's got some room in it. So if you're in between sizes, go down a size. Having the same problem with it that I had with the purple top, which is that it's because of the straight line, it's right up in the armpits. 
Ugh. But I love this colour and I think it's really cute. Oh, actually, can you loosen the straps? Yeah, you can loosen the straps. My worry is if I go down a size, then this will be tighter up here. But what do you think about this? It's so nice and I just love this colour. Perfect for spring, summer, super on trend. What do you guys think? of this little yellow number. One more piece to show you, which is this kind of pinafore thing. Put my t-shirt back on to show you what this actually looks like, um, because otherwise, yeah. And then I've got a few accessories and things, bits and bobs to show you, so let me put this on. <laughs> I am dying, this is hilarious. I look like, I mean, I don't like it. I don't think, I can't see. I don't really like the colours, like this dark green isn't my favourite. Don't think it's the most flattering thing ever. Obviously, you need a t-shirt underneath it, otherwise it would be a, a very different type of dress. <laughs> I mean, you can, no, please don't wear this without top underneath. But yes, I feel like, you know in The Sound of Music when they do the puppet show, um, I feel like the lonely goat herd. That's what I look like. A hundred percent if I show this to my sister, she'll be like, you look like the lonely goat herd from The Sound of Music. Zoe, Zoe. <laughs> I'm going to ring her. She can't hear me. Okay, what do I look like? What, what does this remind you of? Sound of music. Yeah! <laughs> Either the children in their play clothes or High on the Hill was a yeah, lovely. Yeah, 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 that was the first thing. Was it the first yeah, thing? Yeah, the first thing. Yeah, the, the, um. Lay, 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 lay. <laughs> okay, cool, thank Cute you. Much. That's all I needed. Yes, I haven't got there yet, but I will get there. That's my mug to show. Get out. I was just seeing the other thing. Get out, go do your revision. Hi. So. So I'm going to show you some accessories and one bag and then we're done. Whoop 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 whoop. Ba -da -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba right, go do your revision. <laughs> go do your revision. No. No, so just we know well I stand. Really quickly just wanted to show you some pieces. First up, it's a friend's mug. How you doing? I love this. I mean, me and Zoe have so much stuff like this in the house. I mean, we've got Star Wars, we've got Friends, we've got every Disney mug under the sun, but I just thought this was cute. So I bought it. Also, accessory-wise, picked up, I'm obsessed with hair clips at the moment, and I picked up this one. Can you see? It's literally such a copy of the Dior one, but I absolutely love this. I'm gonna wear this tonight. I just thought it was super cute. Then last little thing I bought was a shower speaker. I love listening to music in the shower, but my worst thing is that I can't change it. I'm a, I'm a song flicker. If I get bored of a song, I like to change it. When I'm listening to music in the shower, if I wanna change a song, I have to like get my arm out the shower and like change, yeah. Don't have time for that. So I bought a, ch a shower speaker that has the skip button on it. 20 quid. Super cute. Comes in lots of different patterns. Don't know why I chose this one. They do have Disney ones as well. Don't know why I'm showing you that. That's not part of my haul, but like, I'm so excited. And then one last thing is this bag. Super cute. It's like a snakeskin print. It's got an over the shoulder strap, which I can't quite get out. But you know what a strap looks like, so yeah. But I just love this loop detail. Cute little bucket style. Wow, this is fun. Ow. Thought that was very cute. This, I think, is from Warehouse as well. Quite expensive, £32, but very cute. Good quality. Good quality fake snake. Wow, that is a name for someone. <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, that is everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my question of the video. What is your favourite TV programme? Pop it below. Yes, so let me know what your favourite TV programme is, favourite series. Please, 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 let me know what your favourite pieces are and your worst pieces are. I love hearing your guys' feedback. It's super helpful for me when I'm deciding what to keep and what to send back. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's video. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your Friday and an amazing Easter weekend, bank holiday weekend. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn post notifications on, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>